So you're getting ready to buy a house and you're well aware that there are multiple ways this can go terribly wrong. Right, you're gathering information to be fully prepared to get out there and buy a home, to, to grab a piece of real estate, right? And there's all sorts of amazing benefits and incredible things that come with this, but getting it wrong hurts. Getting it wrong is bad. So it's important to know that when it comes to getting help for this, when it comes to having someone represent you, advocate for you, or be your realtor, uh, more often than not, that goes really, really bad. There's somewhere around a million and a half members of the National Association of Realtors at any given point, right? Now, those are only the members of the National Trade Association called the National Association of Realtors. That's actually where the word realtor comes from. It's a trademark term from NAR, right? There are other licensed real estate salespeople that are probably not as engaged in the business, but are licensed. So the point is, there is a ton of real estate people out there, right? At any given point, there's probably somewhere around 1% of the entire working adult population in our country, in the United States, who are real estate agents. That's nuts. The odds of you finding a really great agent to take care of you, represent you, lead you, and guide you at a world-class level are low. The odds are low. So that's really step one here. The important thing in the... Uh, the most important thing you can do to get going well, to buy a home and do well, to make a great investment of your time, your energy, and of course your dollars so that you can set yourself up for a really bright future, whether it's your home or an investment or a second home or something like that. Let's get this right up front. And that comes down to hiring a world-class expert to lead you, guide you, advocate for you, protect you, represent you, negotiate for you, and all those things, right? Now, if you spend a lot of time watching realtors on TV, you probably have a really, really bad idea of what a real estate agent can do for you anyway. But I already kind of mentioned a couple of times that leadership, guidance, ad advocacy, kind of a consultative approach of learning what you need, learning what's important to you, knowing your situation, and then going out into the real estate world and making it happen. Not just being at the mercy of the market or what's available or what sellers say or what's normal in the market. All those things are signs of kind of a steady as it goes, you know, real estate agent, but not a world-class expert that's there to break a record and drive value for you and then be a source of value and advocacy for you for a long, 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 long time. And that's what I believe as someone who's been doing this for a really long time, written books, do radio shows on this. You know, this is my core expertise. You've got to have a great real estate agent. If you're in my market, I'd love for it to be me, but that's not the important thing. Wherever you are, this is important. It's so important that it probably isn't going to be your cousin or sister-in-law or, you know, friend from college who happens to be a real estate agent, unless that person is also world-class at what they do. And they can truly add value for you. You don't ever want to choose a real estate agent by who you can do a favor for. That's a bad way to do it. Now, that's the way a lot of people do it because our industry, it's not your fault, it's our fault as an industry has led people to the conclusion that real estate agents really are overpaid, underserving professionals. And professionals is probably a generous term for a lot of people in our industry. I spend a lot of time apologizing for our industry and people in it. But there are some of us who are fully dedicated to being full-time committed experts and delivering world-class value. And that's what you gotta have. You've gotta have somebody committed to that that has a track record of delivering those things. And in my opinion, someone who does not work alone. A team, a group, a tight-knit brokerage that has systems and a track record of success. That's what you're looking for. So I know, I know that's a little excessive on choose a realtor, but it's that important. And if you get this piece right, then a lot of really good things can happen in the future. If you get this wrong, all the great strategy and negotiation in the world is probably going to end up being at best kind of an okay transaction. And you're looking for something that's fun and exciting and sets you up as a family with your finances and, and just personally for a lot of joy and peace and safety and security and success in the future. So start by finding a truly world-class real estate professional and things can go very well for you. Now, if you're also interested in being prepared, 
before you go out and get overly emotionally invested in what is most likely to be one of the largest purchases of your life, one of the largest investments of your life, probably one of the larger financial investments, but also just one of the biggest decisions, one of the biggest life choices that you'll probably make. For some of you, there'll, there'll be bigger expenses, bigger choices, but this is one of those more pivotal things. So in order to do that well, you do need to get a game plan together before you go start viewing houses, ideally even before you view homes online. So click on and watch the video that's popping up on your screen because it will take you to the absolutely crucial next step in the process of having a great experience buying a great home.